Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel. It is Sleep Art Game and Eat. And today I'm showing off a few updates I've done to this old Mega Destroyer I had, which I call the Mongrel Ship or Mongrel Destroyer. Now, the thing I have done with this is actually pretty simple. I took the entire outer hull over probably four to six hours, maybe actually a bit more. I went through and removed every single block and then pretty much instantaneously replaced it with a heavy armor block. So, the entire outer shell of the ship is completely new, but also still holds the same exact design as it did previously. It's just heavy armor, which I felt was only befitting considering this is a warship. Now, if we were to actually fly inside of this ship, though, you'll very, very quickly notice, if I can get down here, there we go, that the interior is the same as it used to be and still fairly dark because I... There's no easy way to copy lighting settings, which I'm not going to be doing too much lighting in a lot of my stuff until I have an easy way to copy the lights the way I like them. But anyway, here we go. We're inside, and you can see the ship is pretty much the way it's always been. No changes really at all in here, except for, of course, last time I was in this ship, doors didn't work back then, so it's a bit nice to actually be able to open and close doors now. Actually, it's really nice to be able to open and close doors now instead of just running through them. Ah, you gotta love the way this game continues to evolve. Now, the reason I have just run through the whole ship is that way I can get up to the cockpit or actually bridge of this ship and see that there are a few little changes here because this is actually so close to the external layer of the ship that little bits like here on the front have indeed changed. And of course, the ceiling has changed because that is actually an outer wall. And that's, of course, been changed to heavy metal. And if we were to run through here out onto the weapons platform area out here this was of course also changed to heavy metal or actually heavy armor i should say and i just went through and removed the gray bits and replaced them with the same bits and of course the actual outer layer as well and also i've stuck uh two new lights in here they were right there before but i those are the only two actually changed color lights on the whole ship and i thought that was pretty nice of course you don't want too many lights on the actual exterior or anything to give away the ship's position just in case it's trying to just float around easily or even just to make sure enemies can't too easily target it, but I figured a few orange lights in here won't show up too much, and I actually like the way they look. Anyway, I just felt like I'd share this ship nice and quick. Like, that way you guys could see that it's been updated, and I will be uploading this updated version to the Steam Workshop. Anyway, thanks a bunch, guys, for watching this short little video. I hope you like this ship. I hope you'll download it and check it out if you like, and if you'd like to see a or the original of this ship, I should say, and the proper tour of its insides, please look on your screen for an annotation right now, and there'll also be a link in the description. Anyway, thanks a bunch, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time.